One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Tapo C100, which we've got right here. This is a 1080p Wi-Fi security camera, and what I like about this is that you can store the footage on the cloud, and it also has additional storage right here with a micro SD card that you can insert and have hard storage right on the camera itself. So let's get started setting up the Tapo C100 camera. First thing we need to do is download the Tapo app and set up a username and account. This is the Tapo app right here. So just search Tapo on the app store and you're gonna find this. Now you're gonna to need to log in and set up a username. So do that right now. Once you get a username set up, this is the main home screen for the Tapo app to set up your Wi-Fi security camera. In order to set up the Tapo C100, what we're going to do is click in the upper right corner here on this plus symbol, and we're going to click on add a device right there. This is the next screen that pops up, and this is an indoor camera, so we're gonna make that selection up here at the top. Then we need to make the selection for our device. So this is the Tapo C100, and you can see it also says C100 on top of the box. So we're going to set that up right now. It says plug in your Tapo device and wait about 30 seconds until the LED blinks red and green. And then it says keep your phone or tablet close to the Tapo device throughout setup. So we're going to do that right now. Here's the provided power adapter. We're just gonna plug that into the camera. We've plugged in the camera and now we're just waiting for this light to turn red and green. So we got the red light there, we've got the green light there, and now this is ready to go. It may be hard to see on camera, but there you go. We've got the red and green blinking. So we're going to click already red and green. Then it says connect to your Tapo device. You're gonna to need to go to your uh, device's Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Tapo cam. And then we're going to come back to this screen. I just went into my Wi-Fi device settings, like I'm trying to connect to a Wi-Fi network, and you can see that my Tapo cam pops up right here. So we're going to click on that and make the selection for our Tapo cam to connect to that network. And then what's going to happen is we're going to be able to connect to this device. So now all we're gonna do is go back to the app here, and we're going to uh, go on the Tapo app. So all I did is click back to the Tapo app, it says it found my cam and then it's going to connect to that device. So I'm actually going to turn this uh, the opposite way because otherwise we're gonna just get like camera interference here. And uh, now we need to select our Wi-Fi network and then enter our password. We already had some devices in here so it automatically popped up. But if not, just select your network and enter your password that you want this device to connect to. And then we're going to click next. It says the device will connect to the following network. Click next. Great, it's connecting to the network. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. You could hear that it announced instructions that it was connected and then gave us a beep when it was fully connected. Now we can just name this device. We're gonna call it Tapo uh, C100 and just leave it as that. Click next. Where have you placed this device? We're just going to say uh, office, click next. We can give it a logo here. I'm just going to give it uh, this one and then click next. Complete, you've configured your Tapo device and it's ready for use. We're going to click sounds good. Here it gives you 30 days of free unlimited cloud storage. Uh, we're just going to dismiss this for right now. Now one nice thing about the Tapo C100 is that it does have built in hard storage right here that you can put an SD card in. So we're going to click dismiss for right now and then click got it. Set up local storage. It says use a micro SD cord for local recording. You can insert a uh, SD card or a micro SD card here on the side of the device, and it gives you all that information on what to do there. So we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to click got it. Here it says auto update is enabled to keep your smart device up to date for optimal performance. You can turn it off in device settings, firmware update, and it's got a time that it will update. We're gonna click got it. And then let's take a look at our Tapo C100. It's got some information. Welcome to the smart camera. Go. 
watch, listen in chat, activity zones. So you can set up activity zones. You can monitor a specific portion of your camera's view for motion, configure activity zones in the camera settings, event alerts, configure push notifications to notify you when the camera detects motion. Just visit the camera settings, click got it. And it says tap once to show or hide icons on the screen. Okay. Pinch to zoom in and out. Drag with one finger to see more. Double tap to quickly zoom in. Double tap again to restore. So let's see now that we've got our device set up and uh, see what happens here with our Tapo C100. There we go. I'm gonna turn off this volume. Ooh, we don't want that on there. We're gonna get a lot of feedback. So I just turned the camera's volume off, but you can see it does have live audio and video. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Uh, in the screen so you can see what's going on a little bit better. And then we can click out of this. So you can see right here, we've got the camera. If I put my fingers in front of it, you can see uh, just how quickly that responds. Up here at the top, it gives you the date and time. So that's really nice. I like that timestamp on there. Now, what I like about this is you can click over here and take a photo and that's gonna save it to your gallery. You've got right here. So this is going to record whatever is happening currently. Um, and then that's also going to save it uh, to your gallery and or in the device itself. So it says save to memory. You can turn on or off the volume here and then you can have a two-way conversation. It says Tapo would like to access the microphone. If you click allow, what you're gonna be able to do is then have a two-way uh, communication call. So we're just gonna X out of that. And you can see that you can have two-way communication with the Tapo C100 Wi-Fi security camera. Now you've got uh, an alarm privacy mode if you want, and then you can look at playback and download here. So uh, once you put that micro uh, SD card in, then you're gonna be having all that storage uh, available locally, or you can use it on the cloud. Uh, for right now, I'm gonna leave that out, but you can see what we've got uh, downloaded so far in some of our devices. And then we gotta just turn that back off. We don't want to get the feedback here while we are recording. Now, in terms of other settings and what you can do, uh, like I said, you can just zoom in and you can see we can zoom in even closer. So just double tap and that zooms in right there. And then you can use your fingers to zoom in or out. So let's just put this like right here and we're gonna zoom out. And then let's say we wanted to zoom in on this, you double tap and then zoom out. That's going to do that. Or you can do it with your fingers to zoom in keep zooming, zoom, and then uh, zoom out. So let's just say like we wanna look at some of the writing here, you can see that on there. And uh, that is how you use the Tapo C100. Now, if we wanna go here, we can change some of the settings. We've got an alarm here. We've got our Tapo carefree trial. So I would recommend uh, just doing that if you want the free cloud storage. But then after that 30 days, you would have to pay uh, for that recording. Now, if you store it locally with the SD card, you're not going to have to pay for that recording. And that's one of the things that I like about that, but it won't have a cloud version of this. It'll just have whatever's in the SD card. So that's important to note. You've got some information here on terms of your video and display. So you, <coughs> you've got some information here in terms of your video and display. You can choose your video quality. I'm gonna go with the highest HD video. So turn that all the way up to 1080 HD. You can choose your frame rate here, uh, 15, 30 FPS. That's gonna be your best quality. But what that's going to do then is uh, take up more storage space. So just something to be aware of. Now, if you mounted this upside down, you can invert the image and then you can create privacy zone. So if I select this privacy zone, uh, when enabled, the custom privacy zones cannot be viewed or monitored to protect your privacy. So you could just click right here and then uh, let's add a zone. So I'm gonna put a zone kind of like right where this box is and I'm going to click save and then it just blocks that out. So that's kind of nice if you wanna have privacy in no, just look for one specific thing in an area. So you can see my hand uh, right here and then uh, it won't record uh, wherever you've got that privacy zone. So that is kind of a cool thing uh, that they have that. We're gonna go back out of that and we're just gonna close that down for right now. 
You've got on-screen display info, so you can choose the date, timestamp, uh, display the text, we want that, I like that idea. And then it says display tag on screen. Uh, you can have live or speed tag. We're gonna just toggle all this on, why not? And then uh, we're going to go back to our uh, main setup here. It shows our network connection. Uh, you can turn that privacy mode on. It says, if enabled, streaming and recording functions will be disabled to protect your privacy. Now, the other main features of this are the detection and alarm. So if I click on the alarm, I can turn this on and you can choose how you want the alarm to uh, go off. You can have sound and light. You can change the sound type. You can change the alarm duration. You can have an alarm event type, and then you can have an alarm schedule. So a lot of customization there. Let's just see what we want. We could put siren, emergency, red alert. Let's just play one of these, see how it sounds. And uh, you could do uh, any of those that you want. You go back here, and then when you go to detection, these detection zones are going to show you different things that you can set up. So you can set up a person detection, motion detection. Uh, you can set up uh, camera tampering or baby crying. Uh, sound detection. So that's nice that you've got all these different options to customize this how you want. And then you can go set to all. So you can set different detection zones in different areas. So uh, it lets you set a uh, detection area for different types. And you can see you just make these little squares on the screen uh, for detection zones. So I'm going to click got it. And then I'm just going to add a zone here. So let's say I want my detection zone right there. And then uh, you can say the camera only detect activities in a custom zone. Uh, you could put that there. Let's add that, uh, click save. And now we've got a detection zone. Pretty cool, you wanna play around with that and then uh, see how that works. So we clicked all the way back to our main home screen here and you can see uh, just how quickly this camera reacts. Uh, the 1080 Full HD is really good. It's got day and night vision. I like the micro SD storage on this. You can see some of the features on the Tapo C100 and how easy it was to set up. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Tapo C100 Wi-Fi security camera. We hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.